away at Lin Ji Yun. Again, another opportunity for the whole Japanese final here, perhaps. Well, we will have that match, uh, Kobana and Sweet, right after this. Against Jung and Kim, that's a big ask. So our two players enter from Japan. They will come into this as the nominal favorites as uh, seeds. Fifth seeds here. And then our pairing from Chinese Taipei. Just a quick one earlier, we talked about the uh, the poor record that Kenta has had in 2023. And that got turned on its head. And he's won the final here. Neither one of these pairs has played well. Sue and Lin have not played very much at all this year. They've only won just over 50% of the matches. First meeting between the two. And Hiromi, Hirokami and Kato have not even won 50%. So. They're struggling for four, perhaps. Well, I do remember the women's doubles uh, last year. <laughs> At that time, a BWF World Tour record number of shots in this very value let's see what happens here Rui Hirokami is at 21 166 centimeters tall 32nd in the world has reached a high though of being inside the top 20 that was achieved uh, just a few months ago in May of this year. They've won uh, two titles on the PWF International Challenge uh, Series level. That was the uh, Mexican International Challenge and the Belgian International last year. Her partner is 21, is 21 from Gifu. On the World Tour, they've won the Indonesia Masters Super 100 last year. Also finished runner-up at the Taipei Open and the Canada Open. Nice and easy so far for them. On their path here to the semi-finals. to the Chinese Taipei pair uh, there we go so you'll wait 20 now her highest ranking is 52nd actually with another partner they're currently 90th in the world and they've only got together uh, relatively recently 24 year old Lil Lil Ji Yun We got together yeah, in a few months ago. They dropped their first uh, a game in their first uh, match. None since. Choi J. Kung from Korea is our umpire. And Christian Hedlund from Denmark. We saw him a bit earlier as well.
Chuin Hui to serve to Rui Hirokami. Lobo play. So a very uh, new pairing for Su and Lin up against a more experienced pair. That work cut out for them. And it's a Chinese Taipei pair who put the first point on the board. They played uh, quite a few of their of your compatriots, actually. Uh, the Chinese Taipei pair, Jeff. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, all those tournaments down in Australia. In Australia, that's correct. Service over. One, all. Start is over. Two, one. Just a second error from Hirokami. Body shot, over easy. Let's see by Lil. Three, one. A really good position of that smash. Right into the body when she was holding a forehand grip, so it is difficult to defend that shot right in the body when you're using your forehand grip. Well, to get to it, but of course, not enough height or depth from Lin. Start is over. Easy to put away. Two, three. Well, they're already battling away for the points, aren't they? there from Sue with the forehand around the head defensive shot. Hey. And the Japanese pair go in the lead for the first Four. time. Three. Lynn has played you before. Up to the, uh, the 2019, got to the only the opening round.
service over for all. The two ones there, perhaps? Changing the shot. Long rally there. And probably more, just more of an unforced error there. It was getting quite deep into that rally. Interception there. Start is over. By Five. Here it comes. Racket change there. I think that was Hirokami that ran off. Oh, and they've got a. Oh, thought they might well won that point, but it is out. Service over. Five. All. Change the shift. Scrapping away for every point at the moment. Six. Killed off five. at the net. Yeah, well taken there by Lynn. Really looking forward. Looking for that opportunity to close into the net. Hey! Yep, as we said, very frustrating when that happens on the serve. Oh. Third shot interception there. Really good Seven, awareness six. by Hirokami. Almost a good inception Sorry, again by her. Seven. Hirokami. All. Just drifted long of the baseline. It's point for point now, though. Seven apiece. Four. Ah! Sorry, sir. Eight. Seven. Looking to try and uh, set themselves a pull ahead Seven. here. Hirokami and Kato.
Ooh. That one was wayward, wasn't it? Really good work by Sue to get them out of that tricky defensive position, but unfortunately, Lin sprays that one a bit wide. So Hirokami and Kato, after a bit of a slow start, have taken the lead here at the interval of the first game. They're leading 11-7 against Su and Lin. They seem to come out firing a little bit more here, Sue and Lin. We saw some big jump smashes from Lin earlier yeah. in that rally. just drifting long, so the Japanese pair maintaining their four-point lead for the time being. And nice shot there. Yeah, nice shot there. Well, Sue. Good awareness there to take the speed out of it. You can see how far the Japanese are waiting backwards there. Big gap in that front backhand corner. Very nicely placed. And again oh, there. Good. Inching back Ten. into this. <coughs> Two. I'm not sure we saw that much of that Sorry, sir. earlier on. The aggression, you yeah. mean? Yeah. Ten. They really come out in the second half of the first set. Guns blazing here. Seems like it's an instruction. Ah! Mixed results, but uh, Sorry, certainly a change of pace. Nice re deceptive return there. Oh, positioning there. Yeah. 
gotten themselves out of a bit of a pickle so there, the Chinese Taipei pair. 13. A really good defense, so that they were just able to stand their ground and, and hit some really solid defensive long returns back. Just an error there by Kato. Bit of a chat. Kobe and Kato there. Only a point in it. Service over. 14, 12. 5-3 Chinese Taipei pair lead since the interval. Interception there. We've been quite a few of those, haven't they? From yeah, the they've, they've been reading those shots pretty well there. I think it has been Hirokami that's been doing that uh, quite a bit more than Kato. Oh, nice service return there. Good on the reach of Kato there. Sorry, sorry. 13, 15. Nice on the service return. Again, really good awareness there by Lin, seeing that big gap. Nice cross court forehand. happened to the Japanese pair. It's all square here. All. Lovely put away there. Big jump smash. A really good spot across the body. Suddenly, Sue and Lin have uh, gone in front here. 
Here are coming. Kato were in a good position earlier, remember. Ooh, that might have been out. Great shot again. They're ready for it this time. Forces its way over. 16, 17. A few of those haven't happened for them earlier, so they'll be relieved. Unfortunate 18, net 16. error. After a really long rally, really hard work to rally. I hear a kami. Trailing by four at the end of Seward Lin. They have won uh, 11 of the next 17 points. on this and we're all square again 18 all It's probably been the most Sorry aggressive of the four. She's been 19, finishing the points off 18. really well from the rear court. And using some really good angles just like that. So not just smashing in one place, but really bearing where the smash is directed to. at it. 19 all. I think this is about as tight as we've had in any of the games so far. Just in front. Trench, game point, 19. And they've got a game point here. 
big moment for them. Take the lead in this match. That's just drifted out. <laughs> Start is over. 20 all. It's a really good position in the smash, though, to be honest. Just drifted long. Oh, she tried to swing for that. Okay, she did. She missed. We need a winner by two clear points now. <laughs> and it's the Chinese Taipei pair that edge in front. Start is over. 21, 20. Frame there. Oh, here it comes. Oh. <laughs> they defended for a while there. Mainly Sue. Come, finally puts it oh. away. seem to be just getting on the front foot when Start it matters. The Chinese Taipei pair right now. And they have their third game point. Great attacking play by the Chinese Taipei pair. I do feel that they have the stronger attack of the two teams though. They're not afraid to jump up and and power some thunderous jump smashes down. And they do co finally convert at the third time of asking. And perhaps surprisingly, you might think, Sue and Lin have taken this first game 23-21 against the fifth seeds. <coughs> Thank you. 
Get ready, players. So, Sue and Lil have uh, taken the lead here. Could they spring a surprise? Second game, Lobo play. Against uh, a pair that has never lost in a semi final before. They've won all three of their previous. Kobe and Kato. <laughs> now, <laughs> it appears that. The Japanese are also coming out a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, very attacking play there in the very first point from the Japanese pair. W was it apparent for you, the, uh, Jeff, following the interval that with Lil in particular being aggressive, that actually maybe helped turn the tide? Yeah, I think so, because they started creating a lot more opportunities to attack in the second half of that first set. And they've kind of followed that through as well. Oh. That might have been a smash required there, perhaps, instead. Sorry, so one all. Quite a few of those for the uh, Japanese pair. Wow! That should be good. Straight down the line there. Three, one difficult position to defend from off your right hip with your right hander you also pinpoint basically on the line as well service order two three Very loose serve. Very loose serve. But Three, four. He's gifted an error from Sue. Wow. Give credit to uh, Lil and Sue for Four, playing the uh, the highest three. ranked pair that they've ever been up against in uh, Hirokami and Kato. Prior to this, the highest ranked pair they'd ever played, uh, Mopasa and Yu. What is in the world? Japanese pair, 32nd. So to be leading here, I think they'll be pretty pleased so far. What? Service over. Four, all. 
What do you feel like? Gato and Hirokami got to be just pick up that pace, push push it a bit more. I think, yeah, try not to give away too many op attacking opportunities for the Chinese Taipei pair. Especially uh, Lin. Especially Lin, but th th the Japanese pair can definitely defend well, but I don't feel that like that's where they're going to win their points. I think Hirokami really needs to step up in that front court. Which we, we've that seen her over. intercept and really dominate Five, and take four. control of the front court. I think she needs to be really hunting that net and looking for those interceptions to yeah, to basically put that extra pressure on and add that speed in from the front court. It's a good flick serve there, though. Who does well on the backhand there? Side is over. Five. Picks that gap there. Ball. So you see Hirokami coming, coming forward here and then waiting for the straight return and opening up the backhand side, the left side of the court. Wide gap there to be hit into. Oh. Side is over. Six. Five. Relentless attack yeah. from the Chinese Taipei pair. Six, playing off. That angle that Sue created there opened up the court, opened the short shot up for Lin to kind of finish off and put that extra pressure on K2 there. Really hard to get these points, aren't they? Service over. Yeah, a lot of Seven, a, a big six. barrage of attack there. Both of them rotating, coming forwards. Point lead now, the Japanese have. Oh, through the legs. Almost a great trick shot Six. there. Not far away. But great placement here. lead now Hirokami and Kato but this was similar to where they were before wow. nice cross pretty high risk shot 
to go fully Seven. cross like that, but Ten. there was a really good execution of that shot, and Japanese pair shot. weren't expecting that. So, Hirokami and seven, Kato go into the over. interval here, 11-7 up on the second game, having lost the first, they've got some work to do here. Eleven, seven. Play. It just seems right after the interval that trying to stop paper. How about Eight, guns all blazing? 11. Yeah, been here. Another big jump smash. Boom. Great positioning in the middle of the two players. Carter with a low response to that. Let's see how the Chinese Taipei pair come out. Guns blazing again like in the first set. Let's let's see. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it certainly seems like uh, Lil is the aggressor. Very happy to play that role. Follow up there from K2 at the net. Service over. Chair nine. Reminder, it was 11 7 in the first game that the Japanese were leading. Relatively similar ah! position here. Service order. 10, 12. It's also 11, 7 in this one. So they've done well here, the Chinese Taipei pair. <laughs> nice oh. counter attack there. Pushed deep into the forehand corner was, I think it was Hirokami. And a quick interception straight in the middle of the two players. Only a point behind now. Well, since the interval to Su and Lin. Just 
like in the first they've given up their lead. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. This time a bit quicker ahead of schedule here. What was that 15 all? And that happened. This one also has the feeling that it might just go 13, all the 10. way. Just took a little bit of speed out of the shot here. So messed up with the timing of Lin a little bit in that defensive shot. So good choice to slow that one down a touch. Yeah, they really are struggling when Lynn's going like that. Umpire, so get on with it. Well, it feels like the uh, 14, crowd is behind Hirokami and Kato. Nothing to do with the fact, of course, that uh, Jong Na and Kim Ha Jong are on next. Disappointed about Lin. Yeah, missed opportunity here. Well set up here by Sue, but then just probably letting that shuttle drop a little bit too low there. of attacking shots there from Lin. Not afraid to work 15. hard and smash repetitively. To that corner. Oh, they are challenging challenge. it. Seemed a very uh, half-hearted one. Called in. Did appear to be in. One yeah, I thought remaining. an initial glance that was going to be in. And so we are where we were in the first game, 15 all. Then it sort of went very, very tight after this. In game one, trading of points.
Oh, great shot. Oh, what a shot. Whoa. One of those shots of the day for you? One of the shots of the day for sure. Just in so much pressure in that deep corner and both Japanese players coming forward here but not expecting the quick cross. Excellent play from Lynn. Who's, who's really been outstanding, hasn't she? Really has stood out here. Point for point here, Ball. just like in the first set. Yes, Hirokami. Gone for the flick. Good interception there. Yes. Well so done. It would beg the question, if Lynn is winning so many points Seven on her three. smash or an attack of shots like that, 16, would, you, would the aim to be to try not to lift so much from the Japanese point of view? Sounds good though, right? So, it sounds good, but <laughs> it, it gets difficult when, cause, because that point was set up by Sue's really good block at the net. So you don't have really much of a choice other than to lift. But in general? But in general, yes, that could be something you could look ah! at. Start is over. 17, all. I think it wouldn't be just that you wouldn't lift at all. It would be that you might want to try to block or drive or counter attack or do something a little bit different instead of just keep lifting after lift after lift and giving Lynn the chance to smash over and over again. So trying to find gaps in the front or the mid-court to change that defence into attack or at least a neutral shot. Now comes the problems perhaps. Ooh, was it going out? Like that shot there, that block there, I think that's good. And that's giving them an opportunity to counter-attack and not just give the smash away every 18, single time. 17. Jump smash. Defending well here, the Japanese. Plays that well, can finish it off. Ooh, good defense there. Good block there, yes. Oh, so hesitation. Hesitation there, but good change in the defensive strategy there. Blocking and then coming forwards. First time that we've had a two point lead in a while. And it's going to Hirokami and Kato. here. So and Lynn. They want to finish this off. They need to win these next couple of points at least. Ah! 
Oh, ho, ho. just in. Game point. Three game Seven. points. That's a tentative leave there. Yeah. More of a hopeful leave, hoping that it was out. Not sure why they did play that. Well, they've saved one game point. 18, 20. Two to go. Yes, Lil. For the flick serve. <laughs> Makes no mistake. Two in a row. And one point from drawing level and forcing the issue. A great change of pace on this one here, bringing Kato forward and then having a better opportunity to attack. I think that's also, like I said before, where Kato, instead of lifting the first three before that, if she could have blocked it and played a flat shot back. So problems here, they've got themselves out of it, might have. <laughs> yes, they have. Save three game points here. Well, that's excellent, hasn't it, from uh, Sue and Lin. <laughs> really big moment for them. Great serve there under pressure. Fourth game point now they're facing Sue and Lin. 20. We change of direction there. You can see Sue there waiting on the forehand side. Oh, can they, they get four in a row to save? So we have a third game coming with Hirokami and Kato winning a very tight one, just like the that we saw in the first, 22-20. And we are just hitting the hour mark.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Players, get ready. Final game, level play. Very long match, this one already 62 minutes. So we will doubles the encounter between Hirokami Kato and uh, Suwin Lin. Here are coming with a popped fist. Start is over. One, all. Change the shot. Good placement of that smash right down the middle. Great deceptive shot there. Service over. Three. Let's see that one. Two. Get to their backpedaling. Both Japanese actually backpedaling there. on that. No one near as aggressive as maybe she was a little bit earlier, Lynn. She normally saves that for just after the interval. by Sue there Five. on the pressure of being able to get that cross court. This one here, getting that one cross court, really good shot quality. And just 
has forced Kirikami to try to do too much. the right idea here to come in forward here and try to take that net challenge that net but, um, Sue was standing there so additional pressure when you can see someone right in front of you waiting for your shot oh. I was about to say Sue a little Starting to build up a decent lead, but. Start is over. Three, six. It's uh, three now. one and now going into a third whether the experience of Hirokami and Kato playing together far more than Su and Lin who are very new just uh, give them the edge Throwing us off on that one, but Five, to no avail. Six. Good cross smash there by Hirokami. there for the Japanese pair they were really stepping forward into that shot and if it did go over I think the Chinese Taipei pair would have had quite a bit of trouble Make it over Six, for Su and Lin. Change the shot. Quick. It's a good idea. You could see Hirokami stepping forwards there. It's a good choice not to do a straight drop shot. attack there. Seven, all. Here coming, coming forward here. Each time the return gets a bit weaker and a bit weaker and then changes direction there. 
when the shuttle's that short and it's difficult to guess correctly which side Lynn was waiting on a forehand side and it went to the other side so really tricky to react in time another one into the net I think that was because there was a broken racket yeah. a clash of rackets Eight, there seven might have affected the racket there Whoa, and went straight into the net there Ball short. Start is over. Eight, nine. No team has been really been able to get a really big lead, and every time there's a bit of a lead, it just gets reduced down each time. Still anyone's game here. Just wide there for Lynn. I'm not sure if they might be getting a little bit fatigued there. The, the sting in the attack yeah. is not quite there, and I can tell they're just going for a lot. So maybe getting a bit impatient, maybe getting a bit tired to trying to finish the point off a bit earlier. Bodies out there. Changing the shot. Well, longest running 44 shots. Some might surprise a few. Getting ready. So ten, at the interval here, interval, it's Hirokami and Kato who ten. have the lead in game three, 11 10.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Coach, coach, leave the court. Coach, leave the court. So in keeping with uh, what we've had so far in this match, it is uh, very tight in game three. We normally see Lin sort of save herself till after the interval and then unleash Lin Jae-yoon. So let's see what happens here on the right of your screen. <laughs> On cue. She did not fail to deliver. Sorry, sir. I think on every Eleven. point, Oh. Every first point after the interval, she's come out with a few jump smashes. So she's delivered on this occasion as well. Let's see how aggressive the Chinese Taipei pair will be now. Yeah, you just don't see that many women's players with the jump smash. Oh, oh. oh, oh she's, she's up. done well. Can they go on to win this? Lucky net, net touch there. Made the shuttle go out. Brilliant defensive effort here. Oh. Awkward. what Hirokami's been really good at in this whole match yeah. is her ability to come forward. Great finish there. Just a point in it. hitting here and moving forward there oh. is Kato that time finally kills it off 14 12 so good here you can see she's just taking that one early putting pressure on so rather than just playing defensively just choosing to take that step in taking that risk and it made all the difference
Third is over. Thirteen, fourteen. Edging ahead by 15, two, which uh, we haven't seen 13. so often in these latter stages of each game. We are fast approaching the 90 minute mark here. By far the longest match we've had. Step forward there. Ah! That was low down, wasn't it? Bit of confusion, 15. I think. Hirokami thought that Kato was going to take it. It's really good positioning there by the Taipei pair. Shot there. That frustration. I think they definitely could have reached that. <laughs> Just that confusion. Good interception yeah. there. Service over. Here are coming doing that yet again. 14. Change the shot. Quick. <laughs> again, two points in front. Here are and Kato. Just a bit long, and it's up to three 17, now. 14. This is about as good a lead as anyone's had at this stage of any game in this match. Could be absolutely vital for Hirokami and Kato. Now make that four. 18, 14. And I think you mentioned it much earlier in the day, Jeff, that uh, maybe the more experienced, the higher ranked players, it's how you finish. Two times now. 19, 14. The Chinese type of pair have hit it long in the interception shots.
And that sets up six 20. Match, point. match points here for Hirokami and Kato. One save. Still a lot of work to do for Sue and Lin. 15, 20. Won't be panicking just yet. Still 16, four match 20. points. Doing her thing. Three in a row here. Changing the shot. Remember, they were this position in the last game, 17 20. 20. They managed to get three in a row. Wow. Back from the dead for the, from that. Curly, turn this into a point. Chinese type A pair. <laughs> Eventually, they get there. The Japanese pair, who would have fancied their chances against a lower ranked pairing. They're the fifth seeds as well. They'll be pushed all the way, but they eventually see it through. Hirokami and Kato. But boy, have Su and Lin played well. Match on by Rui Hirokami and Yuna Kato. 21-23, 22-20, 21-17. So, uh, a long, long match that uh, maybe some might have predicted. Finally comes to an end with Hirokami and Kato coming out victorious. And they win the fifth seeds 21-23, 22-20, 21-17. And have taken just about an hour and a half to do it. And guess what? More women's doubles up next year at the 2023 Guangzhou Korea Masters. Mobada and Suizu of Japan take on the second season of Korea, Jong and Kim.
And now we come to the second last semi-final match here at the Korea Masters. It is Hibara and Suzy from Japan.